Hi friends, Valerie Turner with Close to My Heart, and I am excited to share with you this evening the In Full Bloom card making workshop. Today I'm going to share with you both the cards per the workshop instruction, as well as some beautiful creative design studio makeover cards. You will for sure want to be a part of our May creative design studio. And don't forget, our VIPs receive 15% credit back on all of your orders. With the Creative Design Studio, you only need to order one item off of the supply list to be invited to that studio. The studio is virtual and the videos remain for replay as time permits for you. So let's take a quick peek. Here are the four beautiful cards that this workshop makes. You'll make four of each design when you follow the workshop guide. But if you check out our supply list for the Creative Design Studio, we will be making 16 cards, but slightly different. You can choose to follow the designs per the workshop, or you can mix and mingle a little bit of the workshop and some of the Creative Design Studio, as you will see that I have done in our examples here. So here is card number one per the workshop. Super cute, I just love this butterfly thin cut. Like I said, it's a thin cut, so there's no fussy cutting. These really neat acrylic shapes here and this film strip. This film strip thin cut is worth the workshop just in itself. I can see that film strip on so many scrapbook pages. So many great uses for that film strip. So here is card number one per the workshop instruction. Here is card number one, where I have added some textured paste. Textured paste here on the card, so I've mixed the textured paste with the avocado ink, giving it a fun textured look. And I'll lay these out side by side here so that you can see them all. Here is card number three, which I've done per the design studio. You can see that I've added, hopefully you can see, I've added some shimmer to the butterfly as well as our gloss spray to our card base. So much fun. And here, I think this one might be my favorite. This one, I have used the Distress Oxide inks with my all-purpose mat a little bit of water and a plastic bag to create this fun distressed oxide look. Again, I've used shimmer brush on that butterfly, giving it some pretty shimmer and shine. So here we have card number one with four different techniques. All of them are very beautiful and you'll have so much fun creating them. Let's take a look at card number two. Now this one I did three ways. Here is card number two per the workshop instruction. Super fun. I love stamping onto that patterned paper and running over our words with an alcohol marker. Here is card number two with the Creative Design Studio Makeover. Here you'll see that I have shortened up that white space and added in my black to give it more of a pop right there in the center. And we have our thanks up here and our words moved down here. You'll also see that I've used the gloss spray in the background of this card. And here is card number card number two, the third way for our Creative Design Studio. Again, you'll see that I've used the glass sprays in the background and I've changed the orientation of the card from horizontal to vertical. All three of those are super fun ways to create card number two. 
let's look at card number three here is per the workshop instructions you see that we have this little stamp here making that fun border and we've used generation stamping here first generation second generation and third generation to create this super cute card card number three Creative Design Studio Makeover, you see that I've added in that black just to give that such a unique pop. I have glitter, shimmer brush, I mean, on that second butterfly. And I don't know if you can see in the video, but I popped this second one up versus having him flat as it is here on this card. So we've added in that black card stock base just to give it that extra pop. We've added some dimension to our butterfly. I've left that other one underneath so that it gives like a shadowing effect. And we've added the shimmer brush to our butterfly. Our third card for the Creative Design Studio, slightly different, did a random stamping on that background and popped our butterfly up with the uh, dimension tape and used our shimmer brush. Super fun. Here you have three options. Let's take a look at card number four. Here is per the workshop instruction. Super cute. Sending smiles and hugs. I just love this card. It's so cute and pretty. Here is Card number four, done with the Creative Design Studio. You'll see that I've added the gloss spray in the background of this card. I've added another piece of cardstock in the back for an extra layer that really makes this card pop. So let's look at them side by side. Can you see how much that green, the avocado in the background really makes this card pop and stand out? I've also colored in and did a little bit of liquid glass on my light bulb, the camera, and the globe there. Super fun way to create card number four. And lastly, I have another option for card number four. Again, I've rotated this orientation on this card. I use some liquid glass here on the butterfly and some shimmer brush and you see I put black in the background to really make this card pop. I hope that you have enjoyed all of these cards and we look forward to seeing you at our May Creative Design Studio. Remember, you only need to purchase one item from our supply list to be invited to the Creative Design Studio. But by purchasing all items, you will be able to craft right along with us and create the same projects that we create. See you soon.